<laughs> Meet David, scruffy beard, glowing smile. Anybody friendly? Standing on the same old street corner every morning with the same old sign. Despite his circumstances, every day David inspires others and finds a way to maintain a positive and loving attitude while walking the streets homeless in downtown Los Angeles. I am my boss because I, look, I, have, to, I have to demand that I love myself. I have to demand uh, the things that I need. I have to make sure that I have a positive attitude and not think I'm going to get something. I have to know. He was born in Cuba, but he struggled with the negative connotations of being homeless in the United States for almost all of his life. People are so afraid that homelessness is contagious that they won't even let you pick up anything that they've dropped. They won't even let you open a door for them. They cheat themselves out of the generosity of others. David's been everything, a crackhead, a junkie, an alcoholic, and a prostitute. But he chooses not to regret his actions because he believes they've made him stronger. I mean, I've had tragedy in my life. I used to sell my body. I've done all kinds of things. And uh, things that I'm not proud of. But yet those things taught me that I was worth something. He says faith in God continues to be the only thing that keeps him alive. Living closer to God is the most important thing that anyone could ever do. You'll hear everyone that calls on the name of the Lord will be and shall be heard. As David follows his usual path, greeting old friends and making new ones, he has succeeded for today in overcoming the negativity of his circumstances and fighting off his fearful thoughts. And tonight, after finding a place to sleep, he will rest with faith that God is protecting him and tomorrow will bring love and hope. For Student Television Network, I'm Katie Beery reporting.